Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to teach you four insanely useful and effective high ground retakes. If you can master all of them, I'm serious when I say these will be the only retakes you'll ever need to use. By now, you should know I'm not a huge fan of flashy, over-the-top retakes that use 10 million mats. I'm all about retakes that utilize misdirections, keeping you protected, and that actually work in-game. Everything I'm going to cover I learned from top tier pro players like Booga, Epic Whale, Phase Dubs, and many, many more. The format will be the same as always where I'll show what the retake is, how you can do it, why it works, and then an in-game example. Without further ado, let's jump into it starting with a new spin on one of my favorite high ground retakes ever. The original version of this retake is from none other than Sen Booga. The version we're gonna look at I first saw from Booga's new trio teammate named Stretch. You start off with a simple scissor ramp up, then after your top ramp is extended out over your bottom one, build a floor beneath you, another one out to the side, and a ramp on top of that one. At full speed, this should be done in one motion and is what's known as a booga jump. I've showed this many times in the past and it's still one of the best moves to know. What's different in this updated version is the way in which you perform the booga jump. Notice how I'm doing a full 360 as I booga jump and land on the ramp. The reason for this is because doing a 360 sets me up for the second part of the retake better than just normally turning to the left and ramping out. So what is the second part of the retake? Immediately after you booga jump, you want to thwifo cone behind you to block any potential shots from your opponent. If I had done a normal booga jump by turning to the left, I would actually run out of mouse room while turning again to the left to thwifo cone. That's why I do a 360 to the right instead, so I wind up in the same spot, but now I have room for my mouse to flick back left and thwifo cone. I know doing a 360 literally sounds insane, but it makes the beginning of the retake 10 times easier compared to the basic way. That's only if you're on mouse and keyboard though. So you booga jumped and thwifo coned, now you're going to continue to scissor ramp up using the thwifo cone you placed, do a 180, and at the top of the ramp you extend out, put a cone. What your opponent will expect is for you to edit through the cone and go for high ground. But your opponent doesn't know that you watch Papa Jarian. In order to throw them off but still retain speed and momentum, do a complete 180 while building walls around you, floor the top of it, and then ramp and edit on out. You can finish the retake with 90s or another 180. The important parts are just mastering the booga jump and thwifo cone combo, as well as the fake 180 into a protected 180. That protected 180 is another oldie but goodie I showed back in March when Martos did it. I'm not going to show the clip because it's in 1280 by 1080 res and I don't want to hurt your eyes, but the core concept is the same. You build a ramp and cone and make your opponent think as if you're going to edit through, but instead you turn the opposite way and switch directions using the walls you built. The reason I built the floor on top of myself was just for added protection if your opponent was a level or two above and had an angle. And the last thing I wanted to mention was that you don't have to turbo build all the way around. Like you can see I miss the left wall sometimes. Just make sure you build two walls while spinning left or right so you can then use the one in front of you for your ramp. Altogether, this is one of my new favorite retakes. It incorporates everything a good retake should have. It keeps you protected, you change directions a lot, and it doesn't use a ton of materials. This is definitely one of the more challenging retakes I'll show, especially trying to get the booga jump down, but every different move that I showed within this retake can and should be used in other ones. Here's booga's teammate Stretch using this move in a fight. If you haven't heard of Stretch before, the dude is one of the most mechanically gifted players I've ever seen. He's beaten Booga, Dubs, and Clicks in creative 1v1s, so obviously if he's constantly using this retake and always has high ground over the best players in the world, you gotta learn this move. Next up, since we're on the topic of insane builders and I've already mentioned him 10 times in this video, the second retake is a new move I've been seeing by Booga. Again, you start off by scissor ramping up, then floor and cone yourself off. Look down at the ramp you're on and then build a floor so you can continue to scissor ramp up and out to the left. From there, turn around and thwifo cone, but keep turbo building the cone as you turn back around to extend it in the original direction you were going and place a floor. 
This is what's known as an extended Thwaifo cone. For this specific retake, I usually turn to the right to Thwaifo cone and then turn left to extend it. But if you ever watch Booga, he'll turn to the right to Thwaifo cone and keep going right to extend it. This is the same principle as before where you might have more mouse room to your right compared to your left. Either way, both work and just do what you feel comfortable with. But why are we using the extended Thwaifo cone here instead of just a normal one? You can actually do a lot more with a cone in terms of retakes than you can with a ramp, and you'll see that right now. Using the extended Thwaifo cone, edit the two right pieces of both the floor and the cone. Here comes the tricky part though. What you're going to do is reset the floor piece and then build a ramp off of it. At full speed, it is pretty difficult as you have to make sure you look back, reset the floor, and then connect the ramp you're going to land on to the floor you reset. If you're having trouble with it, just make sure you look down to build the ramp or else it won't place in that grid. You can then finish off the retake with a 1 jump 180 or whatever else your heart desires. I really like this retake because of how hard it is to track the player pulling it off. You start with a quick change of direction at the beginning. Then you're completely hidden under the extended Thwaifo cone, and just as you think they're going to edit straight out of it, they reset the floor and change directions once again. The floor reset is all about making your opponent lose sight of you, because most players would ramp out after they edit the floor and cone. Instead, you reset the floor while maintaining momentum and then pop out the opposite way. This has slowly become one of Booga's new favorite retakes. You'll always see him use this in creative and build fights to take high ground with ease. So if you're looking to learn a retake used by the World Cup champion himself, this should be first on your list. The third retake we're going to look at I've seen used by a few different pros, most notably NRG Epic Whale, who placed third in the world at the Fortnite World Cup Finals in New York City. Like every other retake ever made, you start off by scissor ramping up. Then, when your top ramp is extended out past your bottom one, cone the top ramp and then place another cone to the left of it. From there, you're going to turn around and turbo build walls using the cones you placed, as well as a ramp going the other way using the walls. This could be its own high ground retake if you were to edit through the cone. It's essentially a very basic protected reverse jump which Martos showed back in Season 7. We're not going to do that though. To continue the retake, you're going to do a cone jump from the ramp you're standing on, but you want to make sure you catch yourself on a ramp, not just the floor. Doing cone jumps onto a ramp is slowly becoming the meta as you get much higher up and never lose momentum compared to jumping on a floor piece. Make sure you look down after you jump from about the middle of the cone. This way you won't place the floor too early or not build the ramp in time. The only problem with cone jumps like these is that you're not very protected. That's why the final part of the move is to quickly turn around and Thwaifo cone. From your opponent's perspective, had you not Thwaifo coned, they could easily get a shot off on you. With the Thwaifo cone though, it will block their shots from any angle and you don't lose any speed while doing it. To finish off the retake, you can do some 90s to contest for high ground, which remember is the whole point of a retake. This is one of the simpler retakes I've showed and basically every move within it can work as its own retake. Remember, you don't have to use any of the retakes I showed exactly the way I did it. Just take bits and pieces and throw them together to come up with your own signature retake. The fourth and final retake is another one I learned from Epic Whale. I haven't really seen anyone else do it but him, so it will definitely be new to all of you unless you're an Epic Whale fanboy like I am. You guys know what to do at the start, scissor ramp up, then cone and floor yourself. You're not going to do anything special yet, so just edit through however you want. After you continue scissor ramping, jump and do a 180 to place a wall. To follow that up, you're going to jump again and turbo build walls above and to the side of the wall you just placed. As that's happening, you should be turbo building a ramp above and below you for you to land on. I know that sounds really weird and difficult, but it should look like this where in one sweeping motion, you build the walls and ramps. You'll then be on top of the ramp you built beneath you and can edit a window into the top wall and drop a cone through the window. This whole retake is centered around catching your opponent with the cone. They'll be ramping up trying to stay on high ground, but what they didn't realize is you had already placed that wall. At that point, you can either come around and go for a quick edit shot on them. If you have traps, you can edit through the wall and trap kill them. Or if you're really not sure you cone them, you can jump out to the side and then do a 180 and get high ground. 
Out of all the retakes we've covered, I think this is the smartest and best to use in game. The others can be harder to pull off if you haven't practiced them, but if you're able to catch your opponent in the cone with this move, there's no better retake out there. We can see Epic Whale using a slightly different variation in this clip. His opponent was trailing a little further behind, so he actually edited through the top wall and ramped up a little more, where he was then able to trap his opponent and kill him for the easy dub. So, those were four of the most practical high ground retakes in the game. If you learned something new, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jarian, and don't worry, I did not forget about the 300k giveaway. Let's just say I'm waiting on some very limited products to arrive before I can announce it. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.